Hey guys, welcome back to the Anime Culture Corner. One Piece Chapter 997 was highly anticipated, and it definitely did not disappoint. Most notable, of course, was that we finally got to see Zoro start to cement his role in the Battle of Wano. But before getting to the meat of the chapter, if you guys enjoy One Piece chapter updates or manga or anime in general, make sure to subscribe. Almost 90% of my viewers aren't subbed yet, and since One Piece is getting hotter and hotter each week, though sadly we are on break next week, you won't want to miss out. And now that that's over with, let's get into the chapter. So it ends up, the woman's words that Sanji heard at the end of last chapter, it was just a huge clickbait on all of us. Ends up that it was Black Maria who said it, or at least a servant of hers who followed her orders to capture Sanji. And of course, knowing Sanji, he fell right for it. He's now tied up by Black Maria in the castle, leaving him temporarily out of the fight. There isn't anyone left on that floor with him currently, so we'll have to look out for how he'll escape, if he even does. It's very possible that he'll be used as a hostage in some kind of way in the upcoming chapters, or maybe he escapes immediately. Sanji is a member of the monster trio, so I wouldn't count it out. But considering Sanji's refusal to harm women, I don't think he'll be able to properly fight against them. And considering he's already quote-unquote love-struck by Black Maria, it's not looking great for Sanji. And just as we're introduced to two new headliners who are camping the stairs up to the fourth floor, Jinbei and Luffy stumble upon people from Udon who built a ladder up to the next floor. And so Poker and Mizurka are just <laughs> left waiting. In a very big, serious chapter, it's nice to see that Oda is still keeping the lighthearted humor that we love. And now to the star of the chapter, Zoro. Big Mom continues past the fight on the bottom floor, and flies straight through the roof through the hole that Kaido made previously. And as this happens, Zoro witnesses an object fall to the floor from the very top of the castle. It was one of the nine red scabbers, Kiku's severed arm. And this sets him off, rightfully so. He snaps, and the multiple chapter chase after Apu meets a fitting end, one that I've been waiting for for so long. Zoro uses Itoryu's style and slices open Apu in one swift move, taking the antidote with him. He throws it to Chopper, who's finally began to crack the secret behind the virus. Simply by heating your body and making a fire, you're able to slow the virus and survive for longer. And just as the doctor he is, Chopper promises to save enemies and allies alike who've been exposed to the virus once he finds the cure. And with this, we're starting to see Zoro and Chopper's role in Wano take more and more shape. But let's get back to Zoro. Out of anger, Queen was about to shoot a rocket at them for taking out Apu and revealing the secret of the virus. But of course, Zoro isn't having any of this. He slices her bazooka in half, and gives one of the most chills-worthy moments in Wano yet. He didn't come to Wano to play Queen's stupid games. He's here to cut down Kaido, the one known as the strongest in the world. And I cannot wait to see that happen. Now that he has Enma, one of the only two swords used by Odin, and was able to slice open Kaido, it's looking more and more like Zoro will be the one to initiate the defeat of Kaido. I certainly don't think he'll do it alone, but I have a feeling that Zoro cutting Kaido once again will be the beginning of the end, and the factor that finally turns the table against the Warlord. For all the Zoro fans who've been waiting for years for Wano for something to happen, this is your time. Get ready. And right after this, the ground starts shaking, which Brooks suspects to be Zoro using Conqueror's Hockey, but Zoro reassures him that it's obviously not him. It's in fact due to Kaido. Using the fire clouds that he's able to generate due to his dragon devil fruit, he's lifting Onigashima out of the water, another testament to just how powerful he is. And thus, he's taken the first step in the new Onigashima project. Moving Onigashima to the flower capital is the first move in making Wano into a lawless pirate country using Wano citizens as workers and shifting the country into a manufacturing hub, one that he and Big Mom can use in their eventual plan to find the One Piece and overthrow the world government. In one panel, Kaido asks, are you satisfied? And that, with this, the Kozuki are finished. He's likely speaking to the defeated Red Scabbards, considering that they were just about defeated last chapter, and we just saw Kiku's arm fall to the bottom floor. There are no more enemies on top now to fight Kaido, and honestly, it's looking like he's no worse than he was before the fight began. We truly have yet to see anything that has really harmed Kaido yet in this fight, as the retainer's attacks, while cutting him, weren't enough to hurt Kaido in a substantial way that we've seen thus far at least. Along with Zoro's claims earlier in the chapter, this offers even more reason to believe that Zoro will be integral in finally bringing Kaido down. The Kozuki are not finished yet. We have Zoro's blade, and we have Momo and Yamato, who are currently trying to escape Onigashima, but fail because there's no boats. Because, of, of course, the island is floating in the sky. It's also important to note that Marco arrives on Big Mom's tail, offering help to the Straw Hats on the bottom floor. With both King and Queen guarding the hole leading to the top of the castle, it's looking like Marco will help Zoro and likely Robin to the top and thus challenge King and possibly Queen for the time being, at least. Chopper and Brooke will probably stay together on the bottom to cure the virus. Usopp, Nami, and Frankie are doing their own thing. And unfortunately, we're on break next week and sadly won't be getting another chapter. But this leaves us even more time to marinate on Zora's role in upcoming chapters and the eventual fight with Kaido that'll finally take him down. 
What'd you guys think of the chapter? I was so excited to see Zoro finally show his strength, and I'm especially happy that it happened to be against Apu and that we finally put him down. As always, this has been the Anime Culture Corner. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future in-depth show, manga, and character analyses.